say compliments of the season and to welcome you to the really, really knowing God channel, even as I bring you vital enrichment in the knowledge of God. So powered by the Pastor Len Radine Center for Age Inspiration, the PLACE. <music> This is the Daily Gem Devotional, making you a gem to your generation and a gem sewn upon the crown of Jesus. We're sharing truth this morning on the easy way to get stuff from God, coming from Matthew chapter 7, 7 to 12. Let us have a little word of prayer and right after we dive into it together. Our Father and God, we give you thanks and give you thanks and give you thanks. Thank you God for the way this season, this one week, the way it's all going. We are giving you praise, we are giving you glory, we are learning so many lessons. Be praised forever. Lord, these few moments together. We ask that you bless these moments in the name of Jesus Christ for the sake of your people. Thank you, Heavenly Father God. Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Okay, then Matthew 7, 7. Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be opened unto you. For everyone who has received, everyone who seeks finds. Though he may who knocks it to be open. Or what man is there among you? If his son ask him for bread, will give him a stone. If you ask you ask him for fish, will give him a serpent. If you then being evil know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your father who is in heaven give good things to those who ask him? Therefore, whatever you want men to do to you, do also to them, for this is the law and the prophets. Amen. So the popular passage. Um, um, ask and you will be given, seek and you will find, knock and you will be open. Very, very popular. Everybody knows it, Matthew 7, 7, you know, and all that. But you see, what he's talking about are three dimensions, three levels of trying to, of how to get things from God. That's what he's doing there. And he's showing us that one is uh, a little bit uh, tougher than the other, or more difficult than the other in terms of, of, in terms of obtaining. The first one is when you ask. <clears throat> Asking is just saying, please give me this. Just like a child would say, uh, I want water. You know, you may not even ask so politely. You may just say, water, water. They will give the child water, you know, just like that. So simple. But the next level, for example, is the sick level. You can see that when it comes to seeking, that's a looking for, that's a searching. It's not the same thing as when a child comes to you. At times a child is not even seeing it, just looks up. And then you are the one that will say, okay, what do you want? Yeah, and you are going to minister to the child's needs. But the next level is the one you are seeking, you are searching, you are looking for something. That is more difficult than just looking up, or more difficult than just saying, I want water, or can I have some water, or even water, you know, alone. Just like that. This is a bit more difficult. So it's another level. And then finally, the knock. That knock now shows us a level where you can't even get to ask or to look up. You can't even get to seek until you have access. No access to even get any seeking done or any asking done. So but when it's opened unto you, then you can ask, then you can seek. So it's another layer, you know, that is put in front, makes it even more difficult than the, than the seeking, than the um, asking. Praise God. So there are three different levels. And, but it says that everybody who asks, receives, everybody who seeks, Finds everybody who knocks is open unto them. You and I know that practically speaking, it doesn't quite work that way, which implies that there is a way to ask, there is a way to seek, there is a way to knock. If you get the knocking properly, get the seeking properly, you are going to get an answer. That's what it says. It's automatic. We want to use uh, something like the bank as an illustration here. The, the money is yours, but you've got to ask properly. The money is yours, but you know the fairly necessary forms and all that. And if you don't uh, you know, fulfill those um, conditions or ask things properly or do things properly, then even though it's your money, you won't get it. Praise God. Now, so also it is here. God has ordained that we should get when we ask properly, when we seek properly, when we knock the way we ought to knock, when we do things aright. Yes, we are certainly going to get that's what the Bible says. So it's not, it goes on now to say that... Um, or what man is there among you who his son asks for bread will give him a stone, or if he asks for fish, will give him a serpent? That all there behaves like a, a joining word because he was saying something and then now says all is joined together. Praise God. So they were they are linked together. So he's saying that <clears throat> if you look at some of the examples that Jesus gave here, a child asked for bread, a child asked for fish. He was given an example of appropriate things to ask for a child's age. Hallelujah. He didn't say if the child should ask you for a horse, or the child should ask you for a house, or the child should ask you for, for a helmet, for, for, <laughs> for a war, a battle helmet, you know, or a sword, something like that. He didn't say things like that. He gave examples of the things a child is likely to ask. So also, when you ask for things that are uh, 
appropriate things that are commensurate with, with, with your level, things that are in line with the word of God for you, things that, yes, um, then it means that you are going to get. That's your asking is going to bring your results. If you ask according to what God considers appropriate for you, if you seek according to what's appropriate for you, let's go. We're going to see a little bit more of it. So it goes on to say that, you know, after giving those examples, you know, said, if you, being evil, this being evil, <laughs> let me just make a quick comment about it. It's one of those hard ways that Jesus punched these uh, these Pharisees. Such things I could imagine. If they, all those things were the things that they were taking note of. They were annoying them. That made them say, "We must kill this guy." <laughs> he called. Is if you people being evil, you know how to give good gifts unto your children. That's one. That's one. And then he says, "How much more your your Father in heaven will give good things to those who ask Him? Good." Gifts to your children, good things to those who ask him. Praise the Lord. So, in other words, when your child asks you for something, as long as you consider that thing good, you are likely to give that child. Good for the child, you are likely to give the child. The child asks you for um, a Gillette blade. Ah, you, you, you are not likely to give the child because you don't consider it so good to give a child a Gillette blade. You know, uh, you know, and things like that. But once you consider it good, you are likely to give the child the same thing. Once the Heavenly Father considers it good for you, you are going to get it. That's what he's saying there. That's why he says anybody who asks will get. Anybody who seeks will find. Anybody who knocks will, will have the door open unto him as long as the Father determines it is good. Because you see, between the child and the parent, who determines whether it is good or not? It is the parent. The child may say, I want this, I want that, I, you know, and all that. And the father, the mother knows that this is not good for him. He's going to look for something to distract him or to give him some other alternative. So as to save him from the one that the child really wants because it's not safe for the child. The same way as the father is the one that determines, or the parent as the one that determines what is good for a child. So also our heavenly father is the one who determines what is good for us because what we can't see, he can see. Hallelujah. He sees the bigger picture. Amen. So as long as it is good in his own eyes, in his own definition, you are going to get it. Hallelujah. Okay. And then, uh, of course, we have mentioned the issue of asking properly, seeking properly, knocking properly. Hallelujah. <clears throat> so let's go on. Um, um, your father in heaven, I think we have spoken about that, will give you good things. All right. Um, so finally, let's just round it off. Therefore, Whatever you want men to do to you, also do to them, for this is the law and the prophet. Now, this looks like a little bit off, but really it's not off. What he's just saying is this. If we describe God this way, if we say God is good, unlike you human being, if God is such that anything that he considers good for you is going to fix, is going to sort, is going to perform, is going to make sure that you get it, it means, therefore, that you just be good. You just be good. Just do things the way that is the law and the prophet. Just be good. As long as you are good, God's going to arrange goods for you. Hallelujah. That's it. As long as you are good, God's going to arrange goods for you. That's what is. That's why I ended up with that verse 12. This is the law and the prophet. This is all the things you need to, to please God. Once those ones are in place, you're going to get good from God. Hallelujah. I'm reminded at this time of Psalm 37. <clears throat> And uh, I'll just read verses 3 to 6. Trust in the Lord and do good. That's what I was just saying now. You just be good. Trust the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and feed on his faithfulness. Hallelujah. Delight yourself in the Lord and he shall give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust also in and he will bring it to pass. He will bring forth your righteousness as the light and your justice as the noonday. You just be good. Hallelujah. Delight yourself in the Lord. Be good. That is the law and the prophet. And once you do that, the Lord will do what? He will grant you the desires of your heart. And you, you know, you, you will bring things to pass. He will cause your righteousness. And then that he will vindicate you. He will cause your righteousness to comfort as the noonday, you know, and stuff like that. Hallelujah. So, um, Matthew now. Yeah. So, so that is what he's trying to say. What, what, what to, to summarize what I'm saying. The easy way to make sure that you obtain things from God. Number one is to learn to understand what is um, how to seek, how to find, how to knock. You need to prayerfully and um, as you study, understand those things from the word of God. Two, you need to make sure that the, the things you are asking, they are in line with the word of God. Number three, just be good. Fulfill the laws and the prophets. Delight yourself in the Lord. 
Hallelujah. Be good to people. God will work good for you. He says he will fulfill all the desires of your heart. So once you are doing that, God will, you know, as long as he considers his good, you're going to get it. That's just what the Bible teaches us. And I pray that somebody will be inspired from what I've said this uh, 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 fine Friday morning. Thank you very much for sharing time with us uh, this time and this season. We know that at this time is just festive and all kinds of beautiful things are happening to people around. So for you to have time to listen to us, we are absolutely grateful and appreciate it. The Lord bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you.